Hello! I don't think all of you know this, but I did a series in FIFA 19, Dinamo Zagreb career mode. It actually went by pretty well. You guys seem to enjoy it as well. It wasn't my most popular series, but it was okay. And then I was about to do it in FIFA 20 again, and I uploaded one video with an introduction and then just didn't touch it. I mean, I was playing with the career mode. I was just constantly grinding it. I've done like three or four years in, and I just kept putting off the uploads. Like I was gonna do some playing myself and then upload a thing later. And it got to the point where I was just playing so much and I just lost the desire to upload something. Like I was just, I got so, I was like three years ahead. I was like, do I really wanna look at this footage from me at the beginning? Like it, I just had no motivation to continue with the series. So I do apologize for that. Very poorly planned. But at the same time, I'm glad I got to do some different videos. I don't like redoing the same series over and over again, although it was fun. With that being said, I figured why don't I show you guys the Dinamo Zagreb that I have created over this FIFA 20. I haven't touched this career mode in a long time, actually. Like, I was just grinding it so hard when the game first came out. When was the last time I saved this? December. Yeah, so it's literally been half a year, over half a year since I've touched this. Looks like I left off in 2023. So almost three years ahead of where we are now. And we're playing a Champions League final against Barcelona. Wow. Also, we finished first in Syria with a three-way tie on points. We won by three goals. That is insane. Look at that. We even had the same exact record as AC Milan. 31 wins, six draws, one loss. Piemonte Castillo, 32 wins, three draws, three losses. That's crazy. Imagine losing the league like that. But let's look at the squad I've been using all of this time. And I'm sure you guys are interested to see this as well. We're rocking a 4-3-3 formation. And I originally at the series was planning to mostly only use Balkan players. But I figured why not throw some other mixes. It's still pretty much Balkan ex Hugo players. But yeah, just keep that in mind. So I've got Jovic at striker, 92 rated. He had a lot of potential in this game. Still only 83 pace, but 94 shooting, 91 dribbling. You don't even notice that 83 pace. He still feels quick. Honestly, one of the most complete strikers I've ever used. I, I literally just felt the progression of Jovic like very, very much as the seasons went on. And then we got Danny Almo, also one of the best players, 95 pace, 86 shooting, 88 passing, 93 dribbling. I mean, I think he's the best player on the Dinamo Zagreb squad, honestly. He's just always there, always popping up. Here is a generated player I've created. Generated player from Croatia, I think. It's either Croatia, Serbia, or Slovenia. Uh, Puovski, only 20 years old and 85 rated, not bad. Milenkovic Savic, 90 rated. Jeez, those stats are insane. We've got Barty from North Macedonia. Oh, this card is sick. Amazing center attacking man. Now you see why I put Olmo at right wing. Barty's sick at his position. Mateo Kovacic, 86 rated. Not bad stats. He's, he's pretty good, but he's definitely not the best player on the squad. Everyone performs a lot better than him, honestly. Then we got Rosman. I'm pretty sure this guy's Slovenian. 88 defending, and he's 6'6". Yeah, he could even play center back, but we've already got some six center backs in there. Like Bankovic, who I got from Leicester, 25 years old, 90 physical, not bad at all. Milenkovic from Florentina, Serbian gut, 6'5". Aw, oh, this guy is so fun to use. He, I've had him since the beginning. He's still only 84 rated, but that's still pretty good, honestly. It's not like Jovic and Olmo, but he's one of our key players for sure. Then we got Yedvai, 82 rated. This guy actually almost left my club. He was like arguing I didn't get enough playing time, so yeah. Um, Livakovic, Dinamo Zagreb star keeper right now. I got him up to 88 rated, that is pretty good. Our backup keeper is 78 rated, a random, I forgot which country he's from. Markovic, Jovicic's sub. And then I picked up some Nigerian players, Nwapa. Then we got Rashica, who I'm surprised I didn't have in the starting 11. I mean, I'm just switching him and Pulovski, they're very similar ratings. But because I know you guys love her sheets, I'll put him in the starting 11. We've got Sedits or Sedits. Yeah, they clearly didn't even bother adding any accents or anything. They were just too lazy with these generated players. Pretty sure this guy's from Croatia, though. His five star skill moves, not bad. Grujic, 84 rated, great sub. It says he's happy now, but he's complained a lot that he's not starting. Gvardiol, Bukoya, he is injured right now, but yeah. He is a star player of mine. I, that, yeah, he's the guy Yedvai always complains about. I'm not gonna go over the rest of the players. Most of them are generated or some 
old Dinamo Zagreb players. The last thing I'm going to do in this video is just play Barcelona in the Champions League final with them. I mean, what else? Might as well. Let's get into this. We've got our starting 11. I'm pretty sure Barcelona have Werner. I actually took Milenkovic Savic out of Barcelona. And now the night everyone in the football world has been longing for. Millions will be watching around the world. It is, of course, the biggest final in club football, the UEFA Champions League final. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Lee Dixon. It's Dinamo Zagreb facing Barcelona. Well, we started with 32 teams, Derek. It seems like an eternity ago. Now we're down to the best two. I've not played in Champions League final. I surely wish I was playing tonight. Turn the clock back, let me run out there, please. Just imagine everything you're seeing right now is real. Dinamo Zagreb in a Champions League final against Barcelona. If Dinamo Zagreb just got all this money out of nowhere, like, I just wouldn't even complain. I haven't played this in forever, so I'm honestly not even expecting a win, but I just want to see how the squad would do against the mighty Barcelona in a Champions League final. Win or lose, we're in a Champions League final. I've already won a Champions League with the squad, so it isn't too much of a loss, but we're going to try our best. Jesus Christ, what a freaking cross. This is kind of shady. Ooh, look at Barty with the skill. That pass to Almo. Look at that. Almo with the pace. He can't catch up to Danny Almo. Look at that, look at that. He's just got it in the bag. Oh, I just couldn't finish Kovacic. Oh my god. This has got to be a joke, right? Already the counterattack. Wow. Wow, we're lucky. Dembele screws up. Livakovic saves us. Oh, what a skill from Danny Almo. What we see, what we see. Oh my God, I didn't want to give it to Jovic. I wanted to give it to number eight, whoever that was. Nice, nice, finish that. Ter Stegen with the super save against Luka Jovic. What a freaking pass from Milinkovic that was to Luka Jovic and the finish was just superb. Let's go. One nil up with this amazing squad. Barcelona is playing super well, so nothing is over yet. But we do have a nice lead right there. One nil with that Jovic finesse shot. What a pass. Oh my god, Luka Jovic finished that. Referee! Completely interfered with that. Was that Juan Bisaka? Wow. Imagine Juan Bisaka getting a red card in the Champions League final with Barcelona. All right, I am horrible at penalties. Oh, this isn't even a penalty, it's a free kick. What are free kick takers like? Barty is 98 free kick accuracy. No question, we're not letting him not do this. Let's whip this in though, top corner, with a little bit of power. I said, let's go, Barty makes it 2-0. This is gonna look like an easy win now that Barcelona have a red card. Let's go to Shitsa. Give that nice cross to Danny Olmo. Oh, what the hell, what a clearance. I think he almost kicked Danny Olmo in the face. Nice. Let's go, Barty. Big pass. Oh my god, Olmo is away. It's too easy. Finish that. No, it's not, Two Stiggins. Picking it up. Get out of here. Nice. Roseman, look at that height, bro. He's so unbeatable in the air. Keep it coming. Keep it coming, Dean Mazzari. Let's see. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Oh! My god, finish! No! Just too far from him after he did that skill. Oh, close. He's getting a bit unlucky out here. All right, that is full time. Dinamo Zagreb win the Champions League against Barcelona. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to be continuing this series. I mean, FIFA 20 is dead, and FIFA 21 is about to come out. I don't even know what I'm about to do for the next FIFA, honestly. Like I said, I'm probably going to get it, but the more I see, the more I'm like, no oh, thanks. 
Like, I, I'm genuinely considering switching the Pez. I don't know what the final decision is yet, but I'm just, I'm thinking, I don't even know which console I want yet. I feel like the Xbox One and PS4 just came out yesterday, but yeah. Let me know what videos you guys want to see next. I felt like I had to make this, and I hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the like button, and subscribe if you're new. It would mean a lot. I'll see you all later. Lock them up.